Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures with our town in Ostriff. As we can see, our soldiers are training up. They're doing a great job there. So I was thinking, let's see, can we send some out? Ooh, there's quite a few wounded. We don't see their wounds, but uh, most of them are training now, except for one. So well, we'll let them do their thing. We were also busy with this monastery. And I like that, so I hope we can keep this up. Um, they're busy building it, so that's great. We introduced some extra wooden planks production last time. That works out well, but I think we still need a little bit more stone. Uh, polished stone, that is. We got two extra, but I don't know if that is sufficient. Oh, this one still needs to work. Okay, well that might make a little difference. Advice, hosting visitors, host the bishops, visitors, hosting the wandering monks, that's all good. We also have a blueprint somewhere. And we need an emissary for that, I believe. Study the blueprint. A monastic emissary. Now, are we build? Oh yeah, we are building the emissary's office right here. We just have to wait until it's done. Then we can appoint an emissary. And that will help us study the blueprint. I think I will like that. So we'll keep it um, going for now. We have the apiaries here. But uh, yeah, there's two beekeepers in. Nice. We have four people without a job. So let's start right there. We'll get uh, Ashetil. We'll promote him so that he can be one of the stonemasons. And then we just need a lot of people into the uh, monastic business. So let's see if we can devout some... Males? No, we can't. We can devout some females, so let's do that. They should also be able to get a job here, so that should not be a problem. We should have plenty of jobs, although they are needing to be brothers and sisters, and we only have novices. So that is a slight issue. We need to get more books to promote them. Um, but we have already have nine copies, so we'll just let them do their thing. And then slowly that should be working out. And every time we have 10 books, we can promote one. That should be a good option. Most of the mines here are worked. That's great. What I actually would like to do is build a big, big gold storage. So we can store a lot more gold. But I would also like to promote a couple of people. Why do I want to do that? Well, if they are promoted, even if they do a lower tier job... I'm also checking if we can promote any soldiers, but we... Oh, yeah, we can promote soldiers. Oh, that's a lot of promotions. That's very good. I'm just thinking if we promote a couple of people... 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They will now start to use more of our resources. That will also get us extra money. So now we have to provide clothing and stuff for those 10 extra villagers. We have to provide them an extra source of food. We will probably see a couple of houses upgrading. Uh, but that's all exactly what I want. Those are things I want to see. So um, I think in the end this will work out quite nicely. Because we will see more and more people um, promoting, getting more stuff done. We have more people that can do different jobs. But mainly... They will just spend more money in my markets and stuff, and I like that. All right, looks like this is um, this is ready actually. The refectory. All right, well here's where people can eat. So let's put in berries, fish, and cheese because that's what we have a lot of. We don't have any meals yet because our cook. Uh, we have one cook, but I don't think he's making a lot of meals yet. We do have the herbs for it though, so he could be busy making meals. Just probably just getting some resources in. They also need water here. Did we already build a well? I don't think so. So we need to get a well in here so that he can get water quickly. Uh, it should be in the food tab. So let's build a well here. Just for the uh, monastic kitchen to get some monastic meals. Yep, the house is upgrading. We got new villagers in. And we have buying bread, herbs and berries. The steward of the bishop. The bishop would like to purchase food from your notorious land to help others under the benediction of the clergy. Should we help out and give away our stuff? Accumulate that. Well, we have more. So that is good. It will give us money and some coins for the clergy question is do we need those clergy coins or not that's basically my thing now if we don't need them then i'm not going to do it but yeah we can use the clergy coins so that makes me want to do that 
let's deliver everything. Let's head straight over here. And yeah, now we can unlock new stuff. The Great Hall. I want the winemaking. <laughs> More alcohol for the people. Guess that's always a good thing. Are they not building this? Oh yeah, they are now. One builder is assigned. Very good. So in here, we have the dorms, the hospitium, the kitchen, the refectory and the apiary. Yeah, we just need to wait for promotions. Hmm. Could not fulfill one need. Oh, that's not good. But we have the approval rate apparently, so it should be good. One could not fulfill its need, but we are still at uh, 80%, so... Now we are at 75%, so hopefully we can do that soon. Alright, we have the emissary's office. Click to assign a monastic emissary. Now we have brothers already. So, um... Let's do just one brother. I don't care really which one. Now we can start to study a blueprint. Let's do that. I want to know about the blueprint. Alright, so that worked out. We can now study that blueprint. Are there still parts of the monastery that we don't have yet? Well, we could give the monastery quite a big treasury. That could be interesting. Ooh, and we can start the winery. The vineyard and the winery. Well, I guess we need to make vineyards. I believe those need land to work. So, uh, probably can't, oh, can't build too many. Because we need to give them a place where they can actually um, sow in the vine. So we'll build two here. And is that, is that smart? I'm not sure. Yeah, we're just going to build two here. And let, let's see how that goes first before we do anything else. And to help out getting rid of all these trees out here. Let's just build these this guy in there. So that we can get rid of a lot of stuff there. We need a lot of brothers and sisters, but we also need some more foragers. And they can go into this monastery. This is where all the berries and stuff is. We have room for more people. That's good. Oh, we have only one male, one female. Well, at least we added two. But I want a couple more males in here. That would be nice. Two more. Then we have uh, everything spread out equally. Iron ore for the elders. Oh, we have some iron ore. We get more coins. Ten kil coins for the... But we don't have any use for those coins. But we will lose the half of our iron ore. I would get good money for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, we have to accumulate 200 in the storage. Oopsie. On failure, we lose 5 coins. Oh, I don't care about those 5 coins. We're not using them anyway. Alright, let's see. Because here we have the farm could be interesting if we could change that farmland to this area but then we have to get rid of those trees too so that might be a tough one plus they're clearing the area here now for the uh yep all right well hopefully they can get that done quickly a newcomer is requesting an audience just one. Oh wow yeah we need to provide a few extra jobs i guess for some people so that they can uh be more busy helping out maybe getting some extra fish in or something could be a good deal. I guess I could also just use some extra builders around the village. We do have builders, but uh, maybe not in sufficient numbers. Um, let me see right here. If we build a builder's office somewhere here, in this part of town, that might go well with all the construction that we have to do up there as well. I do want to create a big town in the end, so we have to work on that. Oh, this is getting built. A candle workshop. I like it. Let's get that up. We have six books now, so it's running up. Not too fast, but it is going up. More stones. I think we have enough stone. We need more polished stone, which is slowly catching up now. Wood's still quite low, though. We're doing so many constructions at one go. That's part of the problem. Oh, and we're building houses now. How are my soldiers doing? Are we getting a bit healed? Oh, yeah. We have three, four, five, six fully trained soldiers. Seven. So we can do like an easy mission without too much hustle. We just get coins reward. Spears and stuff. Bread, flour and milk. All right. Well, we'll do the beast hunt. Let's prepare some of the troops. 
We'll do some of the fully trained ones. We now have soldiers, by the way, which are really strong. So this is already an extreme probability of success. But let's send this militia out too so that he can train up a bit. There they go. First five soldiers are on the way. Uh, now we don't have more that we can send out. We have one, two more trained up. Still four wounded. Hope they can heal up quickly. And... Starting to wonder if we should just make a couple of extra bridges because it looks nice. That's always an, an interesting thing. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet, but could be something for a little later. Oh, we have plenty of zoning around here. So that is good. Here's another house being built. Here we can put in three workers, of course. That's good. So that's three extra builders in this area. Somebody's building the well here. Wandering monks. Ah, they're happy. Very good. We've provided them with everything. All right, lumber camp's ready. Don't have people to put in there. We just have the three uh, nuns that are in this monastery that we have available. So those are also the ones that we need to promote then, if we promote any um, monks and nuns. The ones that are in here, because the promoted ones need to be in here to actually do these jobs. And now that they are in here... We don't really have, give them anything to do. So that will not make them happy. And that will hamper our immigration. So I'll have to check that at some point. Now we're also having gold here that we're not using yet. So I say at least we start by getting up some gold mines. And some of the industry that goes with it. So that we will be... Uh, ready for all of this and mine a ton of gold all right there we go then we also need to get something of a storage going here i guess and maybe at some point the gold smelter and stuff but the question is of whether we do that all up here or that we go i don't know a little bit more close to some other areas. I think if we add some housing space here, they will not really like it because of the industry. We don't have to worry about the people that come to live here. They're just workers. All the rich ones should live somewhere else anyway. Let's see. Two woodcutters. Candle workshop build. Yay. But we need citizens for that. So we really need to promote some people. But then we can start to make some candles. But wax... And iron. Well, we have iron. Uh, do we have wax yet? Probably. It's just not in the list yet. So let's add that to the list. Yet we have six wax already. So we are making some, I guess. Do we have... No, we have no beekeepers. We have a refectory head and a cook. We have ten monastic meals now, though. So that will be good. I guess at some point we can switch something out here and put that into monastic meals. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to accumulate that much into a storage. And this one is good. So we're going to lose some there, but all the rest is fine. So nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm just doing so many building projects always. And then, of course, all the housing also count as a building project. Ooh, we found some quartz here for glass. But, uh, uh, oh, that's quite far off. Our town is all the way over there. So... Oh, that will be interesting to reach at some point. Well, they'll find a way. Just not right now. Oh, wow, there's a road in between here. I'm not sure that was the whole idea. But I guess it must be fun if you just walk as a villager and you, uh, you walk in here in between the grain. Look at that. That's so cool. We can just walk through it like we are going to the... Uh, Lumber camp, and you just walk through all of the stuff in here. I like this. These graphics are cool. So that is good. But, um, yeah. Maybe at some point, if they remove the trees here, we can move this field over there. That would be better, I guess. Ooh, they're starting to work on the vineyards. Let's see how far along are they. Well, they have all the resources, so they can finish them. Wandering monks are pleased. Oh, yes, we got... 16 coins so now only need six more we can unlock the next thing in the monastery tab that'll be good first winery is built very nice all 
I wonder if they will automatically do stuff that I have to do that. What if I click the winery? Okay, it does not say I have to... Oh yeah, paint the crop field. See, there we go. I hope this is the right one. So that's a bit tough. You have to really... Look into where you can get that. Now we're going to paint a crop field for this one too. Oh, it can go a bit more here. I don't know how big they should be, so we'll just leave it at this. And as soon as we can add some villagers to it, we will. Yeah, I know, we feel. That's fine. Um, and then they should start to plant, but we just need to promote <laughs> monks and nuns all the time. So that can be tough. Oh, there's a couple of soldiers. Are they just going on the mission right now? Or were they wandering here? Well, I don't know. Two newcomers request an audience. Well, you are most welcome. Let me see. We needed a villager. I want a woodcutter. But we also needed a citizen to work in the candle maker. So, you will be promoted into a citizen. And now you can be a candle maker. Let's make me some candles. Fisher's hut built, so we can put those into the job there. Don't think I can tell these that what job they can do. They have to do that themselves. They just live in the in the wrong monastery, I guess. We have ten now, though. So what I can do, hopefully, but well, I have to click them for it. Yeah, I can promote them now. And now that one has a job. I don't know what's it doing. We can find out, I guess. Or a factory, a cook, a one beekeeper. Very good. So now we get some extra wax. As soon as we hit another ten books, I'm going to promote one of the monks in there, and they can do that job. So that works perfectly and here we have yeah it doesn't require any tools now because of the extra shit that we've set up and that's something that I really enjoy because that saves us a lot of tools we have only two villages unemployed now that'll be perfect too we're already building the gold mine here I guess this is a stone deposit yeah Okay, did I already assign all of this to be cleared out? Yes. All right. So here the extraction zone can go because we are not extracting anything in here. Should be extracting all these trees and stuff. And let me check some of the zoning. A courier is requesting an audience. Well, you can have one soon. Just not right now because I'm a little... Ooh, well, they're really trying to do their best to get rid of a lot of trees. Fisher's hut built. Good, we can put jobs in there. Mega trade with Northbury. Poor trade made last season difficult for Northbury. And the abbess would like your monastery to aid them with herbs and berries. She leaves it up to you to decide if you are to sell or to donate the supply as long as it's delivered with haste. We can make them pay if it's a success. We'll get clergy coins, but we'll lose a lot of labor coins. I don't want to do that. We can donate them, then we get a lot of coins. Okay, let's donate everything. And it's done. And now get to spend these coins on... Clergy upkeeps building down. Every time you trade with a village of clergy allegiance, you get one influence with its estate. Okay, let's do that. I want those influence points and if we do trade with Northbury and I think we do we get one every time the trader comes by that will speed things up this is the clergy one we are selling fish we are selling clothing we are selling cheese and we're selling planks I guess but we don't have a lot so that's probably not working out we are trying to sell some herbs as well so this could help get a lot of these coins in that will be awesome if we can get that now here we have the um, laborers, I think. Or are they... No, that's the estate, I guess. This is the clergy, yes. Where's my tax office? Right here. Yeah, these are the laborers. Okay. Sorry, little cough there. I want to build some extra laborer um, houses so that we get the laborers up too. Because we are way down now. We still have to unlock things like the manor house, mining taxes, drinking taxes... I know some of you will probably be very appalled by the sheer notion of a drinking tax, but, um, well, I have to do what I have to do. So let's build something very nice, very big, 
that counts as a new manor house for me. That will be fun. I think we can do that somewhere up here, maybe. So let's go with that. Let's build a new manor house. Okay, there we're gonna go. Add a sub building. I think we should start off with a treasury building. Because that's basically the one thing that we need desperately. A lot of treasury space. 150, 150, 60. Okay. So these buildings are the best for treasury. I could just do it with wood. That will save me some stuff. And then we're just basically making one big treasury here. Alright, let's raise this up a bit. Uh, I don't think room size 5, and now it's still 5. So it doesn't really matter for how much gold we can store in it. But at least we'll be making a lot of storage space for gold. I guess we can go like this now. Yeah, it should be raised up. But I also, yeah, I also just want to move this part and get it in a bit more like this. So now it will look a little bit more like actually a big building, I think. No, don't attach it right there. Yep, right there. All right, we'll do the same right here. I will have to try and get it attached properly let's raise it to that's one too much okay no i actually th think this looks better than how i oh come on okay let's see. yeah that's how it should no it should be one more over yeah like that one now we can attach this to it then I will do these on as well. Well, this is going to be one big building project. But I guess once it is done, this will really give us the idea of a big manor house where we stored a lot of gold. I'm going to give it two entrances. And I guess... Oh, I think these all don't give us any splendor. These are all parts that don't give us any splendor. And I need more splendor to go with it. Oh, these all these parts can give it splendor. Good. Well, it needs a chimney, of course. Maybe even two. To give it the idea of a uh, nice place. And a rustic tower gives it some splendor. And I think it needs two big towers here. To give you a little bit the feel of a... Uh, of a fortress. Yeah, this one should be slightly more forward, I think. Or is it... Oh yeah, it's now the same as that one. Okay. Let's put these on the roofs there. And let's put around it some wooden sheds and stuff like that. We need a wooden stable thingy here too. Uh... Yeah, a roofed shed. Four horses, probably. I don't know. Seems to be like there's some feeding place up there, so... We'll place one here. Put some barrels next to it. That should give it some splendor. Alright, there we go. Oh, wow, this is going to cost me a lot. But at least it's a nice big building, and I like that. And in the end, it's going to be worth it. So let's get two extra miners. But that's all that we have placed for now, except... We can promote a villager, of course, to a citizen and put it into the candle maker. Now we have two. All right. Okay. Now this is interesting. We are still training for the mystery tax, but we're going to get it. How are we doing with the blueprint? I've not seen any messages about the blueprint. But apparently it's already done. I don't see it anymore. All right. Let's... Uh, gain influence with the clergy, although it cost me a book. That is a bit not what I want. We'll leave it at this for now. What happened to my blueprint? Oh! 
The Legacy Rustic Church. So we now have a new church building. So if we're going to build another part of town, and I am actually planning to do that somewhere. I was actually thinking, since we have the um, quartz and stuff up here, we could just go this way, build a whole new town up here next episode. Because I guess that could be a lot of fun to do that. And then we can build that new church in there. That would be nice. Ooh, look at the vineyards. They've actually made them already. I did not know we had to... No, see, we don't have them, actually. <laughs> they just placed them, and now we need workers in there. Do we actually see... Oh, you can actually see some grapes growing there. They don't have the right color yet, so they're still ripening. Oh, wow, that is so cool. All right, so the vineyards are there. Right now, we just need a ton load of planks to uh, get working on this. We're really going to need a lot of planks. But it will be totally worth having that building. This should give us a lot more storage space for the treasury. I like that. Ooh, soldiers are on the way. New villagers are on the way. Most of them are fully trained. So yeah, we're going to do some extra missions as well. Okay, that this is all good news now. Let's wait for all the sol- Oh, maybe these are just visiting soldiers. That could also be the case. Two, four, six, eight. I don't believe I sent out eight soldiers last time. So these could just be visitors. I want these in. And from there on, I will start to send out some more soldiers again. No access to entertainment. Is the uh, tavern full? No. There's entertainment. Just go to the tavern. All right. We have some extra people now. But uh, yeah. Two of the males should go in the here. If we have two males, actually. One. Two. Yeah. Okay. So this one is completely filled. All jobs are done. So that worked. Then we have a couple villagers left. That we need to provide jobs for. But I don't know which were jobs. We don't have jobs for them right now. Oh, the warehouse is being built. So that's good. Housing insufficiency. Yeah, these guys can't find a house, probably. Um, yeah, we can, can set up some houses there. But um, I don't know why we would do that. So I'm not going to do that. First of all, we need to send out some soldiers. We have good soldiers, so why not? Monastic escort train in North Berea will do that. It's a very easy mission. Let's prepare the troops. One, two, three. Extreme success probability, and we might get some nice goodies for that. All right. Hunt Furmans. That's an easy mission. Let's prepare the troops. One, two, three. Oh, also extreme. All right, let's send out. Defend Davenport. Also an easy mission. Let's go. Let's prepare the troops. One, two, three. Four, mostly trained. Five, extreme. All right, we'll send out those five. All right, three missions in one go. I like that. Let's put workers in here. Let's assign some resources here. Gold ore. In the end, we also need some uh, gems here, I guess. And some gold. And then if we have everything stored in here, we can put the jewel maker up there. Um, I don't think we have that unlocked yet. Once we unlock it, it should be in the common part. Yeah, there. Okay, let's unlock it. Now we can make the jeweler and the gold smelter. So we can start to get our own gold production going. That will be so nice. Let's go along with that. Let's build it. Are they already building parts right here? Oh yeah, they are. Oh, look at that. It can't be reached yet. So it's not counting up to the um, treasury capacity yet. But I think as soon as one of the doors is ready and all buildings can be reached... It will be counting up towards the storage that we have for coins. That will be great. No access to housing. Yeah, that's okay. We'll deal with that a little later. We're expanding in so many ways and directions now that have to pace ourselves a little bit because this is just one big building project. And then we're getting the industry up here as well. So we have to think about that. We could also just build a new part of town somewhere here. Since that will be interesting. We can now make the glass smelter. Also very nice. What I would like to do 
is get another one of these going. And then we'll destroy this one as soon as that one is dead. So they will just job hop. But then that gives us the space to make some um, housing or something there. Or a new little village. We have to keep working on that because we need to keep expanding. I want to get to 500 villagers at some point. We need to provide some jobs for those people. Berries is good, meat is good, fish is good, bread is good, cheese is good, clothing is still good. So we have everything the villagers need. There's no need to start worrying about those things. So what I would like to do now is not go to the visibility, but go to buy a couple of zones. That gives us a little bit of extra space here. Okay. Now I'm going to prioritize this one. I want that done. Then we can remove this. And I think we can build a whole new section of town here with its own market. And that can provide jobs for people that actually work here. It can also provide jobs for the people working here. Uh, housing, I mean. So I think that will be a good addition. Stone-wise, we're good now. Planks, of course, will be lagging a bit behind because we are using so many. Yeah, we now have 450 extra storage space because the door is up and the middle section is built. So now with every other section, we'll just get more space for gold. And, uh, well, let's just dive into the gold. Make sure that we have as much as we can. It'll be very good. But uh, I have to say, we made quite a bit of progress. This whole monastic area is now done. And we're feeding the people there. We have the berry or the vineyards up. The apiaries are up. We have a candle maker. Probably not making too many candles right now. But it is actually making candles. I don't think we've put the candles in here yet. No, we have 39 candles. Are we selling candles somewhere already? I highly doubt it. So that might be something we need to fix next time. To make sure that we're also selling candles already. Yeah, that's something that we have to fix next time. But for now, we made some progress. We're building big parts here. We got the gold industry going for a bit. At least we're mining gold already, so that's good. So uh, plenty more work to do, but also we keep developing our town. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thanks so much and bye bye.